Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm back with one more feature of this app called Bazart. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, uh, Bazart. So first of all, this is an amazing app. I use this app a lot to edit my thumbnails of my channel. This app has been my go-to for editing my thumbnails and you know, just editing my pictures to make them Instagram worthy. I can say that some of the features of this app are quite Photoshop level, you know, and, and it's more than enough. Like whatever you have in this app is really more than enough. If you are just like a starting or, you know, if you, even if you are like a professional, I don't think, you know, you are going to use a lot of those uh, features in uh, Photoshop, you know, Photoshop is mostly for those who are really professional, who are designers. But you know, if, if you are a blogger or if you are an influencer who just wants to step up your photography game or you know like editing game this app is the perfect place to go perfect place to start and you know like to make people wonder that you know wow you know this guy's photos are a bit different than others they, it just takes a little effort to make them look like this so today i'm going to be showing you one particular feature of this app that i use a lot so let's get right into it so as you can see over here i have loaded up this photo of uh my city and you know kind of like a skyline i i don't think this is a skyline but you know there was this festival of kite flying and you know people usually burst crackers on kite flying day at night so this is one firecracker that i kind of you know like caught it when it was like going off so i kind of was thinking to edit this photo a little bit so first of all i just have this photo loaded up in the app you can do the basic stuff you know like you can select this photo and you can go into uh like you can go into let's say enhance and if you press enhance it will kind of you know just brighten it up and you know like uh, kind of make it a little bit saturated over saturated and make it look a bit poppy so that's a good feature uh so as you can see the photo now looks much better so this is one feature that i use much often but this this is just like a one click feature and this is not what i was talking about but i was just kind of showing you if you go into adjust over here it's the regular typical you know like if you have an iphone you have this in the app you can set all these exposures and stuff like that shadows and stuff uh shadows you know uh so there are a lot of things over here there is also this feature if you see it's called magic edit okay so so you want to replace so basically if i mark the area let's say if i want to replace this area okay with a spaceship let's say it's night time and i want a spaceship so I click replace and write a spaceship and I click replace let's see what it comes up so this is basically completely artificial intelligence based and as you can see over here we have our spaceship we have four options uh, these are we have a couple of them I think the first one first one this one and this one this one is the this one is the best i guess right so as you can see this this is pretty cool right i mean just you just mark the area and it replaces it it's kind of like generative fill uh, is with photoshop probably not i don't know uh, how generative fill works but this is pretty good i mean you know for instagram and you know if you just experiment a little it can be pretty amazing uh, so you know let's select this spaceship over here uh, yeah you know I was wondering if I could make the spaceship a bit smaller so you know uh, let's let's uh, do it again uh, I'll select a smaller area this time around this is fine So this time it came up with a different kind of spaceship. Uh, the earlier ones were kind of better. Mm. 
so you know this kind of looks cool it looks like a warm hole basically uh and you know i'm just kind of giving you an example let's not do this right now uh i was just kind of trying to show you uh so this is pretty cool right you can just uh, kind of add something over here and you know you know let's just try one more thing uh not this uh, sorry uh let's just try one more thing we will um select this okay we have selected this and now we i want this place to be a warm hole let's see what it comes up with this is pretty cool guys you know like i mean just to make like a cool thing out of it it's it's not bad it's amazing uh it's very detailed and you know um what what else can i think of uh a galaxy a warm hole reflecting reflecting another galaxy let's see if it can do something complex <clears throat> so you know i'm talking something about like interstellar where you know they can see the other galaxy when they are in the opposite galaxy wow okay so this is good guys you know it's it's pretty basic in a way but it's convincing i mean you know what do you think about this this one this is pretty good guys i like it spaceship with with beams i don't know what's called you know when when the spaceship comes and you know they it has all those beams yeah you know i it kind of got it but not exactly i think i will have to do a better job at putting the text input so this this i like okay this this spaceship is good so i'm going to select it it's fine now we have it in our photo and guys the amazing thing about this is it's just like you know you just have to select it and you have to put your input give your input so it's it's pretty good guys okay it's pretty good for enhancing your photos okay now the other feature that i wanted to talk about is this effects okay so you go into effects and all these amazing effects you have over here in front of you you know so say suppose and you know this photo is different but say suppose if you want to use this spotlight effect so i was talking about those beams i could just put them here ah wait a minute yeah i mean you have to do a little bit I mean, this effect is not really for uh, this, but you know, it's is is more like for something else, probably for a portrait or something like that. But if you look at this vintage film, this is pretty amazing. This light leaks. This is pretty good. Color bokeh. This is good. Smoke, glitch, letters. You know, this kind of stuff. the snowy wintry stuff um uh, magic then we have this vintage stuff this looks so cool guys this is i mean you know i mean i just love experimenting and messing around with stuff like this it just makes your photos a lot better so you know this as you can see you have a lot of kind of shooting stars over here and you know it kind of blends into the theme of this theme of uh, you know uh, an alien invasion which is kind of cool okay fire you have fire you have festive lights this is amazing for you know like uh, some good amount of editing 
glitter you have glitter and shadows you know uh, so i i think this photo is not really a good example of the shadows thing but if you have a dark, if you have a really bright photo the shadows thing works really well uh, this one i really like this spiral box so you know this this would kind of go into our theme of this photo you know because we already have a firebox and this as you can see it looks so real guys it looks really good it looks very real okay uh, this particular one this we have okay it's too much probably this another firebox this okay this one is pretty cool this also nice nice guys this is amazing don't you don't you think don't you agree this is pretty amazing guys this one is so good i just edited one more photo with this one it's, it's amazing kind of you know just imagine this if the spaceship was not there this would look pretty amazing spaceship is kind of coming in between right now this is like okay too extreme i the one i liked over here was this one right which one was it this one was also nice this cool kind of looks like like a sparkling alien thing this one is subtle you know this one is quite subtle so so you know if you if you look at this if you look like this it kind of goes into the mood of you know what we are trying to do that you know a spaceship is coming is kind of raining hell fire on our earth over here so yeah this was like a short example of what you can do with this app you know um i use it a lot this has been like my all time go to app okay i'll be coming up with a lot of another videos for this app you know i'll do a specific video just for the ai features that it has you can also make videos you can also make tiktoks tiktok reels and you know there are a lot of templates for that you know for making reels it also has uh, its own music like you can use your own music through the app which is royalty free for your reels and what not you know it has a magic feature that probably deserves its own video where you know you can just erase the say suppose i'm like your background in the photo and the edits you can make with these photos is amazing so i'll keep on posting and please subscribe to my channel so that you can watch all these videos you know and enhance your creativity and you know your editing game thank you for watching i'll keep on posting bye